How do we know which one is tried? Because he is upon goodness. How do we know that this is for one it is a test and for the other it is a punishment? So two people are being given the same trial and test. For one of them it's a punishment. And for the other, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to elevate his status by him being patient. So how do we know the difference? Shaykh al-Islam of our time, Abdul Aziz bin Baz rahmatullah gave a beautiful answer. He said, with regards to the one who is firm upon his deen, who is obedient to Allah and Allah's messenger, apparently and inwardly, they know that this is a test to elevate his status. And for the one who is disobedient to Allah and Allah's messenger and is away from the deen and does that which earns him Allah's anger, then know that that is a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him. So this is the difference between two people being given the same test. For one it's a purification and an elevation for his status, a promotion for his status. And for the other one it's a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this was with regards to uh, the pillars of Al Iman. And bi idhnillahi ta'ala, if Allah permits in our next visit, I plan to teach the book Shar Usul Al Iman of Shaykh Muhammad ibn Sa'ad al Utaymin in this masjid. Where we will go through all the pillars of Iman in detail. A book which is very important to study. Bi idhnillahi ta'ala, this is my plan inshallah in my next visit to teach this uh, uh, book in this masjid. If the uh, Masjid Committee, bi idhnillah, allows us and can facilitate for us to teach this book. This is a very important book and it is a, a fundamental book which needs to be taught and learned by all of us, young and old. And it is very good and very easily explained by Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al Utaymin, uh, rahimahullah ta'ala. But in brief, in total, that we understand that Iman is connected to the heart and the knowledge of the unseen. Whereas Islam is connected to the apparent actions. The pillars of Iman are six and the pillars of Islam are five. The next and the last final question with regards to this book. If it is said to you, who is your prophet? Man Nabi. Ah, who will give me the answer? Ah, somebody wants to ask you, who is your prophet? Ah. Huh? Huh? Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Huh? Anybody? Huh? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What's his father's name? His grandfather's name. Huh? Huh? And his father's name. Ah, ah. And his father's name? Ah. 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 Nah. So the first thing which we need to understand is what time is it? Seven, Seven o'clock, huh? Shall finish the book inshallah. We won't leave until we finish the book. So even if it's till twelve o'clock you have to stay here. Oh, inshallah, we shall finish the book. Now, a prophet. Who knows who is a prophet? A prophet. Huh? Who is a prophet? A person who is sent by Allah. Ah, give him a, a sweet. It's a right answer, but not the answer that I'm looking for. Still requires. Uh, what is a, what is the difference between a Rasul and a Nabi? Allah mentioned in the Quran, Ambiya, and He mentioned Rasul. Uh, who knows the difference between a prophet and a message? Anybody? Huh? Anybody? Anybody from the islands? knows what is the difference between a prophet and a message. Ah. Ah. 
طيب مم. anybody else ها 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 messenger محمد رسول الله is he a messenger or a prophet ها a prophet or a messenger he's not a messenger he's a messenger so he's not a prophet he's both he's a prophet and a messenger طيب ها A lot of people when they explain about prophets and messengers, they make a lot of mistakes when they uh, explain the definitions. So I'm going to explain to you correctly as it is understood by the people of knowledge and the people of knowledge have explained. First of all, we should understand that every single Rasul is a Nabi, but not every single Nabi is a Rasul. The definition of a messenger generally, that means most commonly, is a person who is a male, so he has to be a man. And he has to be a free man. So a free man who receives revelation, who is sent to a disbelieving nation, who is sent with a new set of laws, and is commanded to convey the message. A free man who receives revelation is dispatched or sent to a disbelieving nation with a new Sharia and is commanded to give down. This is the definition of a message. The, de the, de the definition of a prophet is a free man who receives revelation, who is sent to a believing nation, who is a successor of a messenger and is commanded to give that. Many people when they mention about prophets and messengers, they say a Nabi is somebody who is not commanded to give da'wah. This is not correct. Both wa umira bi tablighi. Ar-Rasul umira bi tablighi wa nabi umira bi tablighi. Both prophets and messengers have both been both were commanded to give da'wah. Da'wah was not optional. Like Musa and Harun alayhi salam. Musa and Harun alayhi salam. Musa was a Rasul and Harun was a Nabi. Nabi Harun was the Khalifa of Musa alayhi salam. Musa, Harun was not sent to a disbelieving nation. He was sent to a believing nation of Bani Israel and that. Somebody may ask the question with regards to Isa alayhi salam and Musa alayhi salam. We have the Old Testament and the New Testament. We are in Jeel and Taur. Isa alayhi salam was a prophet and a messenger. Yes? He is somebody who received revelation. Was he sent to a believing or a disbelieving nation? He was sent to a believing nation. But did Isa alayhi salam receive new laws and regulations? Yes, he did. The reason of why Isa alayhi salam was sent to Bani Israel because the ulama of Bani Israel, the ahba, they innovated. They committed the crime of bidah in their deen 
So Isa alayhi salam was sent to refute those innovations. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed some laws that were supplementary or they were additional to the Torah. Generally, like I said, a Rasul is somebody who is sent to a disbelieving nation. Generally. Whenever we find Nuh alayhi salam was the first Rasul. Nuh alayhi salam was the first Rasul. He was the first prophet to be sent to a disbelieving nation. And Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the last and final messenger, the last and final Rasul. And he was also sent to a disbelieving nation. So this is the definition of Rasul and Nabi, which a lot of people do not understand. A Rasul and a Nabi both Uhiya ilayhim. They are both Rijalun Ahrar. Free men. So that means a slave can never be a prophet or a messenger. Somebody who is a slave cannot be a prophet and a messenger. A woman cannot be a messenger or a prophet. A woman cannot be a prophet or a messenger. Messengership, a risala wa nubuwa, is specifically for the man. And the Rasul is sent to a disbelieving nation. Whereas Nabi is sent to a believing nation. Or is commanded to give da'wah. He's not sent, but is, is, he receives revelation to convey the message to a believing nation in general. So do we understand the difference between a prophet and a message? This, those people who say that a Nabi is somebody who is not commanded to give da'wah, then this is not sahih. A prophet and a messenger. Umira with tabligh. Both have been commanded to give tabligh and the message. Now, so this is with regards to the prophets and the messengers. So the question is, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you are asked who is your prophet, then say Muhammad.